In this video, I'm going to add an RSS feed to the home page of my Ning website. With RSS, I can bring news stories and articles from other websites to my site for my visitors and members to read. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm at the home page of my demonstration website, tiecycling.ning.com. The first thing I need to do is to add an RSS box to my home page. To do that, I need to go to the Manage page. Then I need to click on Features. I'm going to add an RSS feed to the middle column of the home page and have it on top of the other boxes. So first I need to drag the RSS box from the left to the middle column and place it in the order that I want. In this case, I want it on the top. Now click Save. Let's go back to the home page to add the RSS feed. So you can see the RSS box is here on my home page, but there's nothing in it. I need to add the address for the RSS feed. To do that, I need to click on the Edit button. Here are the RSS box settings. I need a title, so I will call this Mountain Viking News. Now I need to enter the URL of the RSS feed. So I will need to copy the address of an RSS feed and paste it in here. I don't have one yet, so let me open up another browser window and get an RSS feed. Here's a mountain biking website I was looking at earlier and have decided I want to use the feed from this website. So I need to click on the RSS link and copy the URL. Here it is. On this site, there are several RSS links. If you don't know which one to choose for your site, you may choose RSS 2.0. Now I need to copy the web address for this feed and paste it into the RSS box. The next option is for displaying the feed items. You can choose from Titles Only or Detail View. The Titles Only option displays only the title of the article, which people must click on to read the entire article. The Detail View option displays the first paragraph or the first few sentences of an article to give the visitor a little bit more information on what the articles are about. The visitor can click the title of the article to read the rest of the article. I usually use Detail View in my websites. It gives my members and visitors more information about the article. The last option is how many items from the RSS feed I want to display. I'm going to change this setting to show five items. Now click Save. It usually takes a few seconds for the website to process the RSS feed. Now you can see I have five new articles on my homepage coming from another website. So you can see this is an easy way to add news and information to your website that your members and visitors might be very interested in reading and can help your website become more useful to other people. You may place the RSS box anywhere you like on your website. It doesn't have to be in the middle. You can have it on the left or the right columns. It's completely up to you. So that's it for this video. I hope that you have found it helpful and thank you very much for watching.